Hey guys, keep here at the Islands of Roots, and today we are fighting an enemy. And it's an enemy in the garden. Joseph, what are we looking at there? What is this plant? Do you know? Potato. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Han, so what is the enemy in the garden that we're combating today? We have a lot of light here that affects both our tomato plants and our potato plants. This right here is one potato plant. And as you can see, it's just all kind of sprawled out and we just had a big rain. So it's starting to get some blight, some of that yellow dying leaves. Look at all these helpers we have in the garden. <laughs> so we're gonna use this fence here to our advantage and solve not only that problem, but another problem in this bed. The other problem that we're having is these potato plants got so big so fast that all the other plants that I put in this bed are struggling because they're getting no sun. All right, so here's the solution. We are gonna take this plant, bundle it all up, and we're gonna use this fence line and tie the plant up against the fence. So it'll get the branches off the ground. Hopefully it'll help with the blight a little bit and then it'll give these other plants a chance to thrive. We've got, believe it or not, onions, sweet potatoes, and beans, oh, and beets all planted in this bed. So we're gonna give this a try, see if it'll help. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is try and save these little red onions that have been back here because they have been totally shaded out by the giant potato plants. So we're gonna put them out front where they can get more sunshine. How's that? That looks pretty good. This will also allow us to get some more dirt in here to mound up around the potatoes better. Is that better? Doesn't that look better? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> now we can work around in here. Four. Alright guys, so here's the after more tidy. Okay, it's looking much better. Here's all our little red onions that were lining the whole back of this bed, so we're going to transplant these out where they can get some sun. Then we have uh, bush beans planted throughout, so now they're going to get some sun. These are Cantar French style bush beans. Uh, we have sweet potatoes that now can get sun and thrive. Here's little beets <laughs> that are struggling to survive. And on down it goes. All right, I'm doing a bird's eye view and we're gonna go clockwise on our tour. So we've got Caleb, Joshi, Nene, Joseph, Mommy, stealing the show. Or as a nickname I got from Justin Rhodes and Chitlers in the Garden, Biddlezilla. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, Caleb's gonna start off our quick garden tour here with his bed. Yep. What you got growing, Caleb? Right here, I have some cucumbers growing. Nice. I have some amaranth growing here because it's a bug trap. All right. It's good to have bug traps in your garden. I have a bunch of these volunteer tomatoes everywhere. We should call your bed the volunteer tomato bed. <laughs> yep. Because they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Cherry tomatoes. All right, I have these garlic chives. Yep. And those are everywhere too, huh? Yep. Tomatoes and chives like each other, so that's a good thing. What else you got? I have lettuce. Yeah, your lettuce is doing well in the shade here. Because what's above it? Kiwi up here. Yeah, here they are. First time we've had little kiwi fruits growing. Super excited about that. You've also got some chard in there, huh? Uh huh. Some chard. I have a little peppermint. Pot. Um, little potted peppermint that you transplanted. 
a um, mm -hmm. couple little bean plants to add nitrogen. And some grass. <laughs> some grass, yes, of course. Some marigolds are in there. Uh, here's a good example of why the amaranth, or some people call it pigweed, is so good. <clears throat> is if you see that pigweed right there is just completely chewed up by the bugs, but the chard right beside it is almost has almost no holes. So we like having the pigweed or the amaranth around. Plus it gets a really pretty flower top on it. I also have some volunteer wood sorrel. Yeah, yellow wood sorrel, which is super yummy and we like to put it in salads or just come out and eat it, huh? Yep. Cool, thanks Caleb. And you also take care of the blueberry bed, which is right beside. You want to show us that real quick? Sure. This is the blueberry bed. We have a blueberry here, volunteer tomato here. Lots of volunteer tomatoes everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Another blueberry there, the some more Littler tomatoes. blueberry. More amaranth. More amaranth, yes. <laughs> more amaranth. What was this called again? Uh, that's lamb's quarter. Lamb's quarter. Yeah, we leave some of the lamb's quarter. We just try and not let it take over the garden though, because it's yep. a good edible. Cool. Well, thanks, Caleb. Welcome. I almost forgot. I have one more thing. I think. A big plantain. Cool. And what's plantain good for? Well, if you get a bee sting or wasp sting, any sort of a real, pretty much any sting, you can put it on and it'll help uh, stop the pain and help heal. Awesome. All right, we're moving on to Joshi's bed, and it is jamming. Look at that. Yep. Josh, what do you have growing? These are melons, honeydew melons. Mm -hmm. I have lots of volunteer tomatoes in my garden bed. <laughs> They're everywhere, huh? Mm -hmm. I have corn. What kind of corn? Do you remember? Glass room corn. And that was a gift from a subscriber, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. What else do you have here? Asturiums. And that's a new variety we're trying. Yep. And our tomato there. Yep. More lambs corn. Kind of small, but getting there. What's this over here? A uh, sunflower that I did not plant. <laughs> yeah, volunteer sunflower. Yep. All right. More anamaranth, more corn. Yep. This is... Is that the sweet corn? Yeah, this is some sort of sweet corn. I can't remember what type. I can't remember either. Yeah. <laughs> and what else do you take care of in the garden, Josh? This bed right over here, the green bean pen bed. The green bean area here. So he takes care of actually two beds because it's a big trellis over from one bed to another. Mm -hmm. So these are green beans. Pool beans, yep. And they're a new variety, rattlesnake. Yep. Pool beans. This is a uh, asparagus. Yes, this is where our old asparagus patch was. So we've got some random asparagus coming up here and there <clears throat> that we're hoping to transplant in the fall. Some mm -hmm. more tomatoes. And some pepper there? Yeah. And pepper. We were given these tomato plants from some good friends. So they're kind of not in the plan, but we just tucked them in where there was room. So that's fun. A beefsteak tomato, I think. We got lettuce. Lettuces. And more sorghum. Yeah, and the sorghum seeds were a gift as well from Jim. Thank you, Jim. It's a very small patch. Um, it's our first time trying sweet sorghum, so that'll be fun, huh? Yep. Yeah. And then the other side's pretty much the same. More lettuce. Yep. And a different type of pole bean. It's a purple pole, pole bean. Yep. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Josh. You're welcome. Next up is going to be Joseph, I think. Yep. Okay, we go from the pool beans over to a little bit over here that's mostly greens, but then there's a few little summer squash tucked in there. This is something new we tried, Mizuna, and it really didn't do much before it flowered. I think we're going to try this again for the fall and maybe even overwinter it um, in a cold frame or the greenhouse. Let's see how that does. And then we've just got our four apple trees where we've got lots of potatoes planted and tons of comfrey. I'm going, I'm going through. I'm going to see who I find on the other side. Oh, and we've got rhubarb. Hooray for rhubarb. 
Who do I find on the other side? Joseph! You gonna tell us about your garden bed? I got beets right here. You got what? Beets right here. Beets, uh huh. What and else? And tomatoes. Tomatoes. You planted a bunch of volunteer tomatoes, huh? And then comfrey and then chives. Comfrey and chives, all right. Anything else? And then what was that? That's some lettuce. And then lettuce. And some wormwood that came back. Oh, and what's that oh. right there? Cowberry and some wormwood. Yes. Fantastic. You did have spinach, but it, it bolted, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So. And, and also I have some of those, some peas. Some peas. We haven't gotten any yet. Our peas have not done well. Of course, they've never done well. <laughs> this pea didn't, didn't come back. Yeah. For some reason, peas don't grow well in our garden. We've got to figure out what to do about that. If anyone knows how to grow good peas, let me know. <laughs> you like growing things in your garden? Yeah. Thanks for showing us your garden, Jay. You're welcome. What you got growing on, honey? <laughs> lots of brassicas. So we've got uh, lots of different kale. This is my favorite kale. It's ragadac or red Russian kale. And I've got some scarlet kale that's not doing as well, but it's still coming along. Lots of marigolds. And then a whole bunch of different cabbage and cauliflower and broccoli plants. Um, also some chard. And the pots have different mints in them. I'm trying this just to see if it'll help keep bugs away. So there's various pots with mints. And the bed right beside it has pretty much all the same kind of things. Except for some onions as well. Whoa, those onions are doing great. <laughs> and then off on the edge here we've got our fig tree and comfrey and rose and garlic and a couple of new herbs that I've added to the garden this year. This is a anise hyssop and lemon balm and I'm hoping to be able to propagate from them to make more. So we'll eventually have the anise hyssop around our grape and probably put the lemon balm in various places just to help all over the garden. What you got going on here, Esther Pie? I caught a chicken. You caught a chicken? Was she trying to get into her garden? Well, they're out. They're out of that area. So, did she get into our garden? I don't think so. All right, next up is Nathan. Nathan, you want to show us what you've got growing in your bed? Mm -hmm. I've got a little corn plant. Uh huh. Squash some corn. Nice. Got some carrots here. I've got a chart here. Here, 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 and here. And then more lambs quarter. I've got a ton of lambs quarter in my bed. And some little marigold yes, started. Yep. And this is my big old pe peppermint plant. Mm -hmm. I've got a kale here, here, right there. And then I've got some lettuce here, 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 and here. And this more lambs quarter here. Mm -hmm. I've got a garlic chive right here. Uh huh. Cauliflower here, kale here, cauliflower here, kale here, cauliflower there, cauliflower there. We lost a bunch of your cauliflower. Actually, part of this bed here used to be a walkway that was all just hard rock and clay, so we don't really have much here. There's a little struggling tomato trying to make it. <laughs> so we'll see. I planted a maple here, but didn't come up. Okay, well, sometimes you plant and it just doesn't come, but that's okay. We keep planting, huh? Yep. Planted marigold here, and little marigold came up. Very more nice. garlic chives, one here. Good. A bunch of lambs, quarter and stuff. Nate, you also help Mama out with this bed right near your area, huh? Yep. And we've got lots of marigolds in there, mm -hmm. and some cow peas to add nitrogen. And we've got some basil coming up, but mostly it's for tomatoes, huh? Yep. And unfortunately, the tomatoes are very small, not doing much. Basil right here. Little teeny basil's there. <laughs> <laughs> She's excited about the basil. This is lemon basil in this bed. We're doing three kinds of basil this year, huh? Thanks, Nate, for showing us around. You're welcome. <laughs> and then just past Nathan's area, this is our strawberry and spinach 
patch here that's been doing really good. We've had a lot of spinach from it, so that's exciting. I've never been able to grow good spinach. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed our garden tour. And let us know what you got growing on. Thanks for joining us today's garden tour. Whatever you do, do, do it, it with your whole heart. heart.